that's the cue we can get started so once again gm farmers welcome to yet another community call as you guys know we do this every friday and uh, we always get together for uh, discussing all the updates what has happened what is coming up and i always wish that more of you would be able to more of more of the players would be able to join me join me and others on the stage while we are having this call but yeah feel free to do that if you if you want to just raise your hands in the general chat and in case you don't have the permission to talk so we've just disabled it because sometimes there is disturbance coming in from people so we've just given limited access but if you want to join me on the stage just just raise your hand and i'll give you access to join all right so about today's call highlight the highlight of the call is basically we'll be going over the by the way the nifty swap uh, highlight highland cow pool is now live so as you can see we had announced that so you can go check it out so uh, this is the first time all of us are introduced to a liquidity pool so i thought uh, we should definitely do a tutorial on how that thing works and we'll do that session and i'll be taking questions if if any you you, you guys can also feel free to just stop me while i'm speaking and if you have any doubts you can ask me before we move on to the next section and after that we'll be having a small trivia just to check how how well you've been paying attention to the tutorial so the the trivia will be all about the stuff that we cover on the tutorial so yeah without any further ado let's get started i'll just be presenting my screen if you guys can see my so you just need to click just go community call like where you are open that session and just click on the top left side there will be an option for you to view my stream if you are able to see my screen please send a thumbs up in the general chat and we can get started all right thanks harry okay so welcome to this session on how to trade proper assets on nifty swap a step by step guide first thing is you need to be go to nifty swap uh, beta.niftyswap.io this is a sequence product we have partnered up with sequence which is a web3 tech stack provider so this is a really great platform which is specifically focused on trading sfts that is erc1155 tokens and um, it's it's really it's the perfect place like a perfect on chain project for us because even crobbytes follows at token standard right so this is the perfect place to focus on uh, sfts uh, semi, that is semi fungible tokens so yeah the first step is you basically go to nifty swap okay you can go to explore collections you'll see a lot of stuff over here and you as you can see over here there is the crop bites collection so this collection is launched by the crop bites team so anyone, anyone can basically it's an open source platform anyone can create a collection if you if you are creating some artwork or any sort of you know if you are a creator you can also come and create a collection over here so as you can see uh, this is the crop bites collection uh, you can toggle to see the you can toggle that to see all the all the assets over here so this is the collection and as you can see one pool is launched so if you if you toggle if you toggle this over here you'll be able to see all the tradable assets so this is this is your basically your dashboard here you can see the current marketplace so this is one marketplace that has been launched any anybody can come and deploy a marketplace over here so we we've, we've launched the first pool over here basically it's the crop bites versus usdc token uh, combined pair so it's a liquidity pool where highland is will be traded against usdc so as you can see this is you can come and select the markets over here right now there's only one but when when you are able to withdraw your assets outside even you will be able to create a pool over here so i'm not going to get into the nitty gritties of how to create a pool or anything like that but feel free to just ask that in the chat or just reach, reach out to us if you have any questions basically nifty swap provides a lot of information uh, they have a code system also for you to check like if you have any doubts but yeah more more, more towards the relevant stuff so that's a marketplace these are some of the filters that you can see like you can filter assets based on what they give and take 
you can also show what sort of APR you can earn from uh, from an asset. So these are some filters here. You can see the marketplace. So these are all the contracts that are there. So this is the contract for this marketplace. So any history that you want to see, you'll be able to see that over here. Uh, I hope you can see the screen. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay. All right. So uh, if you click on this, it will it will go to another page uh, where you'll be able to see the polygon scan. So you can see what all trades have happened and things like that. This is the collection uh, and this is the currency contract. So basically, this is this is your this is the pan. That's all there on the left side panel. On top, you can see if you go to explore, you basically go back to the main page where you can see all the collections. This is your inventory. Like if, if you've purchased any assets from here, that will show up on this inventory. As you can see, Polygon is connected and this is the wallet address. So this is my wallet address. So when, once you log in, you'll be able to check that out. You can toggle night and day mode. They've, they've made this really well, actually. So here you can see some details about crop bites. This is the total value log. I'll tell you more, more about this. Uh, this is the this is the trade history, the number of collections that are listed and total collectibles that are listed. So, all right. So yeah, that's that's about that. And then so here, if you can come to Highland Cow, this is the most sought after asset in crop buy. So we thought this is, this should be definitely the first one going. But however, um, from from our side, from the crop buy team, will definitely be adding more pools like this but once asset withdrawals go live if anybody can come in if if you withdraw your assets from the game even you can come and create a pool like this over here basically it will show up you can create deploy a new marketplace basically so yeah this is highlight like this is the only asset that is there right now but we'll be listing more so there will be four to five more assets coming up so nifty swap has just announced this marketplace let's just check that out this thing has gone live. Let's let's just explore what these guys have announced. So this is the announcement that Nifty Swap has done. They were kind enough to add a lot of details into this. Uh, as you can see, they've explained a lot about how the game works and things like that. This is what I wanted to show you. This is what we aim to do in the coming days. Highland Cow is gone. We want to add Egger, Apple Tree, one into one crop line and well uh, in the pool. So we just want to see like how gauge what happens and then later take call on what what next assets to go but initially this is what we've planned but like i said you can come and list any asset that you want if you if you're listing a highly liquid asset it's it's better for you to like uh, you know earn something out of that so basically so this is the pool and um, what how this works is basically you know there is there is some supply of highland cow there are 19 available over here so there's already one sale that has happened Wow, that's interesting. This has happened just now at the, this had happened. One Highland cow was sold for 57 USDC over here. That's really great. Uh, so one trade has already happened. So what happens is uh, basically you are able to provide liquidity over here. Okay. You can list some assets and against the value of that asset, you can also have to list the number of tokens that has. So if 19, 19 assets were 19 highland cows were listed they are worth 2201 so if you're starting this liquidity pool you have to deposit 19 highland cows and also add this much worth usdc so you've created a pair okay now once the pair is created anyone can come and add liquidity over here okay so how how does how does adding liquidity work basically you have to sell an asset to this pool right now i don't have anything so that option is not coming but uh, if i had a highland cow i'll be able to sell this sell that over here so when i'm selling it to the pool that asset gets listed in the pool and i'm providing liquidity for it okay i'm a liquidity provider then when that happens if any trade happens in that pool i'll be getting some fee from it so that's the incentive that I get as a liquidity provider. And at the same time, you can also buy. It, it, it is a market, basically. You can buy and sell. So you can also come and buy an asset from here. You take that asset out of the liquidity pool at this price. All right. Uh, there are some properties, some more details over here. This, that's, we've gone over that. 
so okay let's let's see how you have to buy so once you click on the buy option it this will be the same thing for sell but since i don't have any assets in my wallet i won't be able to show you that unfortunately but to get, take an asset out to buy it this is the process so as you can see I've, I've i've selected the highland cow select the quantity of the asset right now just one asset is selected so you can do that you select the quantity of the asset and automatically the pool will calculate like what is the cost now the last trade happened at 57 dollars so now the value of highland cow has gone up this is this is how the algorithm works it tries to balance it out you know uh, the the liquidity pool tries to uh, keep the value stable so you know um, when you when you try to trade assets over here the pool will decide what will be the price of the next asset so you you set a price but then as trades happen uh, on the on the pool the pool algorithm will decide what will what will the next price of the asset so yeah i've selected one asset as you can see that will cost me 59 dollars uh, 59 usdc tokens and before you before you get get into this cow buying spree you have to uh, you have to check for the fees also there's one more item over here so as you can see there's a lp fee which is 0.5 percent now this is this can be decided by the uh, creator of the liquidity pool uh, there are there are some, some options 0.5 1 percent 3 percent like that you can decide that so when we created the pool we decided the lp fee should be 0.5 percent so now uh, anyone comes and say sells an asset over here provides liquidity he'll be getting 0.5 percent of every trade that happens in the pool all right so that's 0.5 percent the royalty fee over here as you can see is zero percent so royalty fee goes to the creator of the collection which is now crop bites but we've decided not to charge any 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 fees for the transactions happening over here although the creator of a collection can choose to do that so if you are creating a collection later in the future if you are coming up with a project and you want to create a, a pool over here you can decide to charge a royalty fee over here and the next is a platform fee so that is two percent platform fee so that goes to nifty swap for for them uh, you know since they've created this really amazing platform they've made it very easy to trade so you know they want to keep this going the the nice folks in nifty swap will be taking this two percent so that's that's calculated and calculated on top of the uh, total cost so yeah when once you now i don't have usdc either so i cannot show you the exact the next step over here but i'll tell you what happens basically you can you can also buy usdc so now it's going to cost you 59 so you want you can buy usdc from using um, your credit card you can also transfer usdc to your uh, wallet over here so once that uh, happens you'll be able to see an option of complete complete purchases and there's an option that comes up and once you click on that your wallet will ask you to sign the transaction how usually a uh, on-chain transaction happens once you try to initiate a transaction the wallet will ask you to sign the transaction and approve it so you will get that prompt you approve it and then there is an also a very interesting thing that happens over here now by default your by default the asset will go to this wallet address that you've created right your metamask or any wallet that you've connected over here it it would by default go to that when you when you sort of bought when you've bought it or uh, you know when you're conducting the transaction but what nifty shop has done is to avoid gas fees you can directly send this asset from this to your game uh, game wallet also where you ultimately want it to be if you wanted to be in this wallet you can just continue and get the transaction done or there will be an option sent to a third party wallet or something like that there will be an option over here so you can just paste the cop you can copy paste the address over there and take the asset out so yeah that's it this is it's very simple liquidity pools uh, have been around for a while and it's gotten easier and easier to use them so i think we are at the right we are at the perfect time actually to release a liquidity pool so it's very easy to do it now that's it there you have it folks you're now a pro at using nifty swap to trade your crop based assets efficiently go ahead and enjoy your new friends your new island curve and yeah nifty swap is a great community also how you know you never know you may end up making new friends over there as well so yeah 
another thing is that since we've covered a few aspects of a liquidity pool i would highly recommend that you do your own research as well there are a lot of great resources out there i i can i can give you a link to a great video that you can use to learn how a liquidity pool works i'll just paste that in the general chat here you go it's a it's a page called whiteboard crypto they 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 sort of really good at explaining tough uh, web3 concepts uh, with great analogies and making it easy uh, so yeah try this out try this video um, and check out their other videos as well that's it that's all i wanted to share with you. We're releasing this video out and to anyone who wants to understand how this works okay guys we did cover a few things over here i'm really hoping to get questions from you please feel free to put them in the chat or please raise your hand if you want to come up to the stage and ask anything yeah patrick is confirming that the link is working harry you need to do something i just try again after some time it should be working fine so yeah i'm i'll just give it a couple of minutes if you guys have any questions uh, and then the trivia is coming up so i know you guys are waiting for that but yeah if, let's just finish it like if you have any doubts you need the animal and have the same amount of usdc so patrick you would need that if you are starting a pool of your own right if you want to start your own pool then you have to provide the asset and the value of that against the token right so you have to provide both so when you go to create a liquidity pool you'll have to follow the steps over there they'll they'll make sure that you're doing it correctly so yeah uh, when you're launching a pool you need you need a combination of that but if a pool is already there you can go and provide liquidity or you can uh, you're buying uh, when you're selling an asset to to that if you already have an asset and you're selling it to the pool you are becoming a liquidity provider but if you are buying it from the pool you're taking the asset away so you're taking it to your wallet so you're taking the uh, liquidity out basically and uh, usdc is not the only token that can be listed there is also weth you can use any token that you wish yeah, which is listed on polygon so uh, we also will be releasing pools against cbx even you will be able to do that once cbx we have the once we have the polygon contract for cbx so we'll be able to do that or probably there is a concept called wrapping a token so you can use one token on another chain if you wrap it so that's another that's another topic you guys can research on that so basically you you peg one token on one uh, chain and you create a contract and then on the on another chain you'll be able to use that same token so it's like a clone of the same token it's called wrap tokens you can do that when you sell an hgc to the pool how much usdc do you receive you have to buy and sell. you have to buy and sell at the same rate like that's the price of the asset right so this is uh, there is no order book over here there is a consensus mechanism that that determines the price of an asset so whatever is the rate you have to buy in, you are buying and selling at that rate basically do you really sell the igc or do you just provide liquidity and you don't really sell like uh, imagine so it's like a pool right it's some assets are there if you are selling an asset you already have an asset in your wallet and you're selling it to that pool you are you are you have given liquidity all right you are selling it at the market price which you can see listed over there if you are buying it you are taking it so you are basically taking the liquidity away and you wouldn't get the fees for that it was said that the liquidity provider gets fee e or you sell okay the liquidity provider gets fee so how does that work basically when you have sold an asset to that pool your asset is there okay so uh, now you have provided the liquidity there uh so if anyone comes and does any trade uh, on in that pool they are basically using the liquidity of the assets that you have provided so since you've provided the liquidity you will get you will get that fee from that pool basically i hope i was able to answer that um thanks for in thanks all right know what's a liquidity pool now i'm pretty sure there's a lot to learn i i highly recommend that you guys go check out there are there are many there are many ways a liquidity pool works there is a project called um, balancer 
balancer is a liquidity pool that can peg more than two assets. It can peg up to eight assets in a pool. So <laughs> things are crazy out there. So I highly recommend that you guys can go and research uh, on how liquidity pools work. Next up, we have the asset withdrawals going live. So I'll give you an update on where we are on that. The new app release has the changes that are required for assets withdrawal to go live. And we had submitted the app for review yesterday. It has been approved by Android and we are waiting on Apple to uh, release the update. So once the update goes live, you'll have to update your app. And when everyone's ready to go, we'll enable asset withdrawals and you'll be able to you know get stuff done on nifty swap or open c so and uh, once this happens it's like opening a pandora's box like you there are a lot of things that you can do with it you can create your own contracts uh, and you know like it's 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 the best time to start learning about these things and you know start creating stuff and you can create products like you can create tools that other users can use you know so a lot of things so we'll also try our best to make sure that we bring you the best products out there like the best uh, services that are there out there like open sea if this work there are a lot of lot of things that happen lending or you know it's a really interesting space so yeah uh, really excited and really cross fingered and waiting for wait asset withdrawals to go live so let's hope for the best let's hope that apple gives us the green signal by today and today or tomorrow and we're hope we're waiting for that to happen Okay, in the interest of time, we've already covered 30 minutes. So let's let's quickly jump into the let's quickly jump into the trivia. No, oh, Harry, the music bot is not ready. Milzana, I'll get back to you. I'll I'll, I'll respond to you on chat. Okay, and uh, if you guys have any questions, please tag me. And leave the question after the call uh, or while the call is happening, I'll make sure to answer everything. Okay, now let's move on to the trivia. You guys know the rules. Okay, if you have been paying attention to the call, you'll have the answers. Okay, uh, there will be top three winners and five lucky winners. Okay, and there will be nine questions. And this is going to be a bit tough. We have, we, we have decided to take trivia to the next level so that's why we've kept uh, the trivia is a bit tough it's it's a it's a learning experience so let's just learn and have fun at the same time okay uh, i hope you all you all are ready to go please send a thumbs up in the general chat and we can get started hey Matt GPT, what's up join join us on the trivia <laughs> you can use Matt GPT if you want to get the answers but i'm pretty sure the person who knows the answer will be able to answer much faster anything just get creative do whatever you want it's okay there are no rules like that just try and make sure that you're replying to the question and uh, so that's easy for us to uh, track the uh, track, track track your answers so all right the first question is coming up Are you guys ready for it uh, here it is Starting easy, with easy questions. Uh, things are gonna things are gonna get tough as we go. Yeah, just flex your muscles, flex your brains, and wait for the next one. All right, lot of right answers. Okay, next question coming up. The next question is, what do you need to do to provide liquidity to an existing pool on Nifty Swap? We discussed this just now. Great. 
I think we'll have to ask Bobby to teach Matt GPT about the new updates. Okay. The right answer is you sell an asset to the pool and you provide liquidity. Okay, great. Lot of lot of right answers. Let's move on to the next question. How many Highland cows are listed in the first pool created by us? <laughs> it's amazing that you guys noticed that. Great. These are the right answers. <clears throat> Technically, we listed 20, but uh, there seems to some somebody has conducted a trade over there and they've purchased an asset. So 19 are left, but yes, uh, the pool had 20. That's the right answer. Okay, great, great going. Let's let's move on to the next question. What currency can you use to trade Highland Cow on Nifty Swap? Anyone who has joined in just now, let me give you a refresher. Uh, this is the Crop Bites community call and we just had a session on how to use the pools that are there on Nifty Swap, how to use the liquidity pools uh, on Nifty Swap. And, but don't worry, we have done a recording and we'll be releasing it out in case you missed it. And about the trivia, you can, you can feel free to just answer. If you've joined just now, you, you can still answer the question. There will be lucky winners. So yeah, even if you're late, it doesn't matter. To the next question. This is, this is kind of tough and we did mention it briefly. Someone answers this right. That's off. Like a lot of respect from my side. Name the first five assets that will be listed by crop bites or nifty swap. Wow, Patrick was <laughs> Patrick just has that at the back of his mind. Great. Patrick, one asset is missing. I think Polly got it right. Great going, Polly. You've got you've got eagle's eyes. <laughs> you've grabbed it. Uh, I think that is that is the right answer. There will be Highland Cow, Agar, Apple Tree, One into One Cropland, and Level One Well. Great going. Okay, moving on to the next question. Now this is this is a bit different. This is not related to Nifty Swap, but read the question carefully. How many different types of assets will be available for withdrawal? What are the different asset types? Awesome stuff. Polly, you're killing it. <laughs> that is the right answer. So basically we have tokenized, uh, we had, we had launched, uh, 31 different, uh, different asset types on Polygon. So yes, all of these assets you'll be able to withdraw from your wallet. So a lot of right answers. Okay. We'll have to go check this right now. Uh, what is the total value locked in the crop bites collection marketplace on Nifty Swap? Uh, you are, you are, I have to run to Nifty Swap right now. <laughs> it's 
that's the right answer. Ah, uh, smart, Patrick. <laughs> great going. That was a great investment, I guess. <laughs> really paying off. Okay, great. A lot of right answers. Uh, moving on to the second last question. Is it possible to directly send assets from Nifty Swap to your own crop price wallet app? Yes or no? So. All right, uh, the last question is coming up. After this, I have something else also to share with you guys. Uh, okay, now this is really important. Okay, asset withdrawals are going live. Uh, you know, you'll be using, using assets on chain. You have to be very careful because once a transaction happens on chain, it's really hard, it's, it's almost close to impossible to put that. Some centralized platforms can do it. Cropbytes does it. We make sure that anything going out of Cropbytes doesn't get lost in the blockchain. We're trying to make sure we have multiple levels of checks. We make sure not even one rupee is lost by players. So uh, we try to do that through uh, manual checks and a lot of information that's provided uh, at the withdrawal section. So. It is very important that you know what addresses you are sending to. You have to be careful about the network types. You always have to be careful of what contracts you are interacting with. So that brings us to the ninth and the last question. Where the crop pets assets contract address? Sad part is a polygon pheno. Polygon does have network fee but it's very low and that's one of one of the things that set them set them apart right it's a very low uh network fee awesome great stuff so while you while you are sending the answers for this um as you guys know we had announced it today that as of today, 28th April, Crop Bites has completed five years in business. So it was on this day that the first uh, NFT sale was done. The first set of assets was sold. It was a highly successful um, launch back then. And, you know, the first set of users had come from the Tron uh, community, from the Tron community. So um, we've, we've come really long. Uh, we've come really far since then a lot has happened we have our own token and it's it's a great it's a great milestone on today it's uh, almost today it's almost uh, collaborating with our assets withdrawals going live so uh, yeah it's a great day and um, we have definitely planned a lot of exciting stuff for you guys um, uh, there will be the we will be celebrating this through a seven day event where you'll be able to get assets uh win win rewards basically complete some tasks and win rewards uh and we'll be running this over a week over a week you can expect the giveaway to go live tomorrow so stay tuned for that I'll tell everyone tell everyone to join in okay this is going to be fun uh, and let's together celebrate this great milestone for crop bites and let's hope that we'll be together like this for many 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 more years and that's what the team is doing that's that's what we've been doing we've been building this product strong so that nothing can break us so yeah many more years
Thanks, Polly. Appreciate that. Uh, that's it. That's all for today, guys. Uh, if there is anything, please please drop a message in the chat. Okay, and we'll we'll get we'll get to you. Uh, doesn't have to be about Nifty co Nifty swap or anything. Just anything. Uh, I'm I'm here, and I'll answer any questions that you guys have. But uh, yeah, Harry trivia is done. Today was today's today's trivia had only nine questions. That's done. We'll announce the winners for that soon. Yeah, have a great weekend, guys. See you. See you for the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.